Look a little like C-3PO in this. Happy Saturday. Oh, lordy. Look a little harsh this morning. Oh, well. So this morning, I'll be trying out this sheet mask. It's sort of a sheet mask. It's a hydrogel mask that I found at the drugstore. So this is the Supreme Gold Hydrogel Mask from Suai. I think that's how it's pronounced. And according to the packaging, this mask is good for lifting, firming, and revitalizing. So if you're new to my channel, I have like a big ass playlist of other face masks I've tried and the link for that will be in the description box below. Or you can click the I right there. If you like these kinds of videos and you'd like to see more of them, give this video a thumbs up. It helps me out with the weird YouTube algorithm. If you wanna know more about this mask, don't go anywhere, just keep watching. So I picked this up at Walmart for $4. This technically isn't a sheet mask. It's a rubbery jelly type substance called hydrogel. Hydrogel is often used in medicine to help keep wounds protected and hydrated and this allows them to heal faster. So on their website, it says, this hydrogel mask combines the potent benefits of black charcoal with peat water, bamboo water, and birch sap to detox and replenish hydration in skin. Licorice root, green tea, magnolia berry, and coptis, Jap I can't pronounce that. Coptis japonica root extract, I think I got that right, provide an additional boost of nourishing moisture to soothe dryness and fatigue, helping to minimize the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. And on the packaging, it says, gold is infused into a moisture locking hydrogel mask with a special blend of powerful plant extracts to make skin look firmer, smoother, and with a bright, healthy glow. So that kind of makes me raise an eyebrow when I see that and go, hmm, really? Because I picked this mask up for $4. So how much gold is really in this thing? The answer to that question is not very much. If you look at the ingredients list, it's like the fourth to last ingredient. So the whole gold infused thing already has me thinking it's a little gimmicky. And for other ingredients, we have glycerin, which is a skin replenishing and skin restoring ingredient. It helps to prevent skin dryness by holding the water in the product up against the skin. We also have, and I apologize for mispronouncing this, serotonia, Siliqua, it's basically an ingredient that comes from the carob tree, which is the same plant ingredient used to make chocolate. There's also castor oil, which is not my favorite ingredient in the world. I don't really find it to be that hydrating. Anytime I've used a mask that contains castor oil in the past, it just, it kind of leaves a waxy buildup on my skin. There's also licorice root, which is good for skin soothing. There's also green tea extract in this, which has anti-aging properties and skin soothing properties. Next is ginger root extract, which ginger apparently acts as an antiseptic when applied to small cuts or abrasions. Next we have Coptis japonica root extract, which is an extract of a plant in East Asia. And a Apparently, this root is known to have anti-inflammatory properties and antioxidant properties. All right, so let's get into this thing. So directions, cleanse skin thoroughly and apply toner or serum. Apply mask to face, carefully aligning holes for eyes and mouth. Smooth out air pockets with fingertips. Leave on for 20 minutes, then remove mask. Take remaining essence and pat into skin. When used in daytime, apply sun protection after use. Okay, that's good to know. Just, I have a feeling this one's going to be a little messy. Okay, this one comes in two pieces, it looks like. We'll start with uh, the bottom. Oop, wrong side. This is super messy and slimy. Not a big fan of the slime, but it does adhere to the skin really nicely. Like I don't feel like I have to worry about it falling off. I don't know if it shows up on camera, but you can see like little hints of gold in this one reflecting. Look a little like C-3PO in this. This is insanely wet and messy. I should really probably have a towel underneath me while using this. So the time is 10.49. So I'm just gonna go and try and relax for a little bit and I will see you guys in 20 minutes. So the time is 11.05. So it's time to get this off. The good thing is most of the slime seems to be gone now. And then you're supposed to rub whatever serum is left into your face. 
Yeah, this mask is definitely soaked in a buttload of product. All right, so let's talk about what I like about this mask. I really like the hydrogel as opposed to a regular sheet mask. The hydrogel is cooling and soothing on the skin and plus it stays on. It was a little tricky to apply at first because it's this rubbery jelly type substance. But once I got it on my face and I got it where I wanted it, it stayed put. Like I could walk around, I could do things. I didn't have to worry about it falling off my face like a sheet mask would. So the gold part is cute and it's fun and everything, but I think that's pretty much where it ends. I don't think it has any real skin benefits, especially since this mask is only $4. I mean, you get what you pay for. Now, let's talk about how my, oh, let's talk about how my face feels. See, I like this mask up until the point where I took it off. I don't know if you can see my skin pulling. The serum is super sticky and it's all over like mm, I don't like that I don't know what ingredient would be causing that I don't think it's the glycerin because I've used products with glycerin before and it's never done that possibly the castor oil mm, yeah I'm not a fan of the stick it's too bad too because up until the point where I took this off I actually really liked this mask it was really cooling on the skin it really was really soothing on the skin I really like the hydrogel but I don't like the stickiness of my skin. I just, I really wanna wash my face right now. The stickiness part doesn't really appeal to me. And at this point, I don't think I would purchase this mask again. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button before you leave. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.